This video is sponsored by OBD11. So I got an email from a company called OBD11 and they asked me if I could review one of their products and that I could keep the device after the video. I said, sure, send me the device and I will give it my honest opinion and I will present the device to my subscribers as best as I can. So here it is. I decided to show you the product the way I used it since I got it. I plugged it in my friend's car, fired up the application that you can download from the Play Store and connected my phone to the device. After I connected my phone to the OBD device, I scanned the car for any faults and see if anything is wrong with it. As you can see here, there are three faulty control units. As shown in the video, these are the faults that this device has scanned on this vehicle. I decided to erase all possible faults and show you the rest of the application. Inside the application there is a section called Apps and these are pre-configured settings that you might want to enable or disable in your car. For example, I turned on this needle sweep feature that was off by default. And I also enabled parking sensor distance indicator on the car screen. These are just some of the features this device can do. There are so many settings to choose from that I couldn't all fit it in this video. Aside from all these pre-configured apps to choose from, there is a long coding feature that this device will enable you to do. If you know anything about OBD and car diagnostics, you will know what long coding is. Basically, it lets you edit codes that are stored inside the ECU. For example, if you want to add a cruise control to your car that didn't have a cruise control from the factory, you can add missing hardware to your car and enable that hardware in the car's ECU by using OBD11 device. Let's try a different car. I used the same procedure, I connected the device to the car, loaded my application and connected my smartphone to the device. I scanned for any errors in the car and cleared any past faults this car had. I think this car had more long coding features described than the last one, but even without description you can find some code explanations on OBD11 forums which link you can find in the descriptions below. And of course, this car, just like the last one, has a lot of pre-configured apps you can choose from to enable or disable some features that your car has but is not enabled from the factory. And for the last car I chose this Octavia for 2005 to show you that a lot of older cars are supported by this device. The features that you can change with this application are amazing and it is being updated frequently by OBD11 developers. Besides great looking website, they have a wonderful support team that you can ask any questions and get a quick reply. You can find link to their products on screen and in the description below. I would recommend this device for any car enthusiast that wants to know everything about their car without paying a lot of money for expensive car diagnostics. Besides error and fault checking, this device can provide real-time data for you to use with your application to see what is happening to the car in any given time. You can check supported car list on the OBD11 website and order your device there. If I missed something in this video and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and like this video if you liked it for more future reviews and DIYs.